Hello friends, welcome to our show. A lot of women are facing various health problems these days. One of them is adenomyosis, which is a very common problem in women healthcare. Let me introduce Dr. Pradeep Mule, Senior Consultant, Interventional Radiologist, practicing in New Delhi, India. Welcome to our show, Dr. Mule. Yeah, okay, talking about the treatments. So, uh, what are the treatments for adenomyosis, how it can be cured? Uh, when you talk about the adenomyosis treatment, mm -hmm. The 100% treatment is the removal of the uterus. But in young women, how can we? I mean, like uh, menstrual pain is quite uh, common, but uh, if it is intense and the woman or the girl is pretty young, so this is not the only option to remove and the uterus. Another, another drawback is there the adenomyosis comes in the younger age. Okay. When you talk about the hysterectomy, 100% pain free, but that is not really possible for a younger woman mm -hmm. exactly when you talk about the, some other kind of the treatments like mm -hmm. the medical management uh -huh. on many medical management we say that okay take the some hormone pills to stop the your menses so you, you are the symptom free for a one month two months three months four months mm -hmm. but these kind of the like the hormonal medication you're not supposed to take for a longer time for a longer time yeah one month two months three months but these are the hormonal medication these having the some their own side effects yeah your body gets used yeah, to it and yeah, these yeah, are yeah, sort of so, steroids so and all yeah that's why it's not indicated the hormone for a longer time more than a three months okay right so these are the like the temporary solution mm. medical management if a pain is there okay fine you can take a lot of now the new generation pain medications are there you can take that also control for some time mm -hmm. but nowadays i'm seeing that some other non-surgical treatment also available okay despite removing uh, the mm -hmm. uterus because yeah. The, yeah. this generally happen in younger women yeah, as you yeah. said so yes i was very curious about doing those uh, non-surgical treatments how can it be cured by non-surgical treatment uh, see the non-surgically when you see that like some another copper tea comes okay. that is also known as the marina mm -hmm. right marina is a copper tea which is coated with the hormone Okay. Right. If they insert, so that around 30 to 40 percent of the women for a temporarily for a one year, two year, they may get some benefited also due to pain and the heavy breathing. Mm -hmm. But if a diffuse adenomyosis is there, the, this marina insertion also don't work also. So some other non-surgical treatments are there like uterine artery embolization. The technique is there. Mm -hmm. That is that works really wonder and that gives you the accuracy after the treatment right in the diagnostic capability treatment wise when you see the percentage wise this comes around 95 to 97 percent okay mm -hmm. okay so dr mule as you have earlier told about the non-surgical treatments the same treatment is for fibroid also talking about adenomyosis uh, how is it beneficial in this disease uh, uterine artery embolization definitely is the much more benefited Mm -hmm. uh, uh, by the technique uh, uterine artery embolization mm -hmm. because the any type of the adenomyosis like a focal, multifocal or a diffuse adenomyosis can be handled by the uterine artery embolization. Mm -hmm. And when you talk about this procedure, right, this procedure need the just the 24 hour hospitalization uh -huh. and this not need any surgical scar. Okay. Even in this technique is a no blood loss is there mm -hmm. and uh, you can do the procedure like in a 20 to 30 minutes time. Mm -hmm. This procedure is exactly the similar the way we do the angiography. Mm -hmm. And in angiography also like we enter from the groin area. Yes. Uh, so the groin area, the entry point is the, exactly the way you the blood sample that much the small nick comes into the skin only. Okay. And a small thin tube is there uh -huh. and the tube we take into the uterine mm -hmm. arteries and we see the how much the abnormal mm -hmm. blood supply is there for adenomyosis. Mm -hmm. And these abnormal blood supply are blocked by the one medicine comes actually that is called as the polyvinyl alcohol particles. We block by that. Yeah, so this is the polyvinyl alcohol PVA particles. Mm -hmm. This blocks that, and when the, once the next cycle comes, mm -hmm. so this won't bleed because of the bleeding before into the muscular wall. That's why they have the intense pain and the heavy bleeding. Mm -hmm. So once you block these arteries, right? So 95 to 97, 98 percent of the women they experience the next month is the no pain okay. or a less pain or a less. Heavy bleeding. So it basically blocks the blood flow into the wall. In, in, into the adenomyotic area. Adenomyotic area. Okay, 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 yeah. okay. So what is the success rate of uh, such non-surgical uh, Success practice? rate for adenomyosis when you do in, uh, by the uterine artery embolization that comes around 95 to 97, 98 percent. That's great. 
but sometime i seen in diffuse adenomyosis mm-hmm. those leaving the massive adenomyotic area Numeric. so they may okay. 1% they may not get the good results okay, also okay okay oh uh, now talking about this particular practice so uh, is this uh, able to cure any other diseases despite adenomyosis uh by uterine artery embolization you can treat the multi- single or a multiple fibroid also fibroid you can yes. treat the adenomyosis also mm-hmm. you can treat the postpartum hemorrhage you know that like after the delivery the heavy bleeding starts so that time this procedure is the really the works wonder how does that work in postpartum hemorrhage uh, see the post during the pregnancy during the at the time of the labor when the heavy bleeding comes and when you block these arteries yeah right so the bleeding stops okay and during the postpartum hemorrhage the bleeding sometimes comes the very massive also yes but i seen that like when you see in our country mm-hmm. the postpartum death is the very high incidence yes exactly right but this technique is not available in the good number of the hospital mm-hmm. but those are the, this place are the available this kind of the procedure so there you can save the woman's life also okay so now uh, talking about the advantages of the uterine uh, artery embolization and adenomyosis so what are the advantages over the surgical practice uh, see the advantage is the it is not required the general anesthesia okay this required just the one day hospitalization mm-hmm. this required the just the tiny nick into the skin so mm-hmm. no, no scar. cut no scar no cut no scar comes on that mm-hmm. and in fact uh, in uh, uterine artery embolization in adenomyosis mm-hmm. there no blood loss is there mm-hmm. so you not required to give a any kind of the blood transfusion or something right mm-hmm. and in this one because you're not doing any cut or something right so the no scarring comes internally also mm-hmm. the scar is not there adhesions is not there and when you see that like the uterus is retained like this only not remove the uterus mm-hmm. so the emotionally also the women feel they are really happy you know okay my yeah, the, the femininity is yeah, intact the femininity is intact and okay. they always feel though no my integral part of the uterus yes. remains with them yeah because that so that this, makes yeah, that this their is feeling really important also to regulate their hormones and other things also mm-hmm. okay uh, doctor generally i've heard that uh, women suffering from adenomyosis are not able to conceive because generally it happens at a very young age So after undergoing the UAE treatment for adenomyosis is it uh, possible for a woman to conceive uh, see the uh, as i told that like adenomyosis having the various types of adenomyosis focal multifocal and the diffuse adenomyosis mm. the focal and multifocal adenomyosis when the women they go through the uterine artery embolization they really get conceive also okay that's But a good conceiving, news conceiving time is like they may take hmm. around like 3 months to 4 months and 5 months time mm-hmm. but i seen that those having the diffuse adenomyosis hmm. for them is a really tough to conceive also 5% 2% 3% of the women those having the diffuse adenomyosis for them is really difficult to conceive hmm. okay anyway uh, this after this treatment uh, this is really a good news for such women who are unable to conceive because uh, they are having adenomyosis but actually one thing <coughs> uh, actually to those patient at least by this technique 97 to 98 percent of the women they get the symptomatic relief okay. one they are the totally the intense pain uh-huh. heavy bleeding mm-hmm. clots that disappears good, good. that's at least they have the peaceful life okay so that's a relief for such patients yeah, yeah. uh first question would be that after undergoing this non surgical treatment after how many days they can join their office uh, see the when you talk about the working woman mm-hmm. 90% right what i feel whether they work in a home or work in a office mm-hmm. or are the working actually yeah. not the 90% yes. i would say that is a 100% woman they are working actually exactly right? but when you see the recovery uh, wise right recovery wise it takes around 1 to 3 days dr mule i must appreciate what you are doing uh, for such uh, people who uh, are not really very ready for, to undergo the surgical treatment and uh, really thanks for sharing this much information this much important information for the people suffering uh, from such kind of problems thank you yeah thank thank you very much